delighted to have my first guest here tonight. Uh, the 12 movies he starred in have made over $2 billion worldwide. His latest film, Beverly Hills Cop 3, opens this Wednesday. Please welcome Mr. Box Office, Eddie Murphy! about you this week in uh, <laughs> oh, those, those idiots from Montana again there, there. <laughs> read about you in USA weekend here and it says uh, you watch Letterman oh, I love Letterman you watch Leno well now and then <laughs> now what is the criteria like what would you say ah I gotta watch it now well, what would be I'd the watch now? tonight oh you watch tonight oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Now, last time you were here... I you're... watch everybody now and you then. You watch everybody. Oh, like the rest of the country. You flick and you go, what they doing now? Yeah, that's a flick. Oh, I ain't. They go, it was that nightline. Quail, we'll go back. Yeah, click. You know, flick. Just like, keep flick. <laughs> now, you got married since the last time I saw you. Yeah, I've been married yeah. about a year. Yeah, yeah. it's been a while since you've been here. Yeah. Now, you seem... Hmm. You seem like a calmer guy. I'm a calmer guy now. Yeah. You look good. You look Thank good. Thank you. So yeah. do you. Yeah. Now, you seem like you... Uh, because I, I remember when we talked last time, when you were talking about dating and everything, you said it was all, you know, you had to look just so and whatnot. Now you're married, you kind of lay back a little bit, you don't have to do that anymore? Do I have to still, like... No, 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 but you were talking about, like, when you go out, everything had to be just so. Or when you... Well, I want, my, I want to look good for my wife, too. You right, know, I can't right. just roll out, you know, looking nasty. <laughs> how long have you been married now? A year and a half. Oh, that'll change. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, how long have you been married? Fourteen. So you don't ever just throw in an outfit for your wife, you know? Well, sometimes I do. No, sometimes you try to do that. You try to look good. Yeah, I, I, I try to. But, you know, like, if she goes away for the weekend or something, like with her mom or something, like, she, she, she goes then on Then when she comes back, you have on, like, a little something in the doorway waiting on her. Yeah, right. Her, you, know, you know what I do? I'll, I'll be naked and wrapped in saran wrap. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do? When I haven't seen my wife in a while? Yeah, I mean, do you, like, have a special thing you do? You like set up some romantic kind of thing? They just go, hey, baby. It's a, it's a, it's, we, we have a, a romantic thing constantly. <laughs> We're newlyweds. You know, we newlyweds, you know, it's always romantic. Yeah, right? Yeah. Like right now, it's, I have no complaints. I hope it don't switch one day. You know, my wife just show up, you know, looking nasty one day. <laughs> hey, all messed up. Say, hey, we've been married long enough. This is me. <laughs> <laughs> Now, she just had a birthday, and she looks beautiful. I just saw her in the dressing room. She looks great. Thank she you. She looks great. Well, she just had a 26th birthday. So what do you do for that? Do you like to do a special thing? Or don't give me an everyday special. Now, do you do a special thing? For her birthday? Yeah, yeah. What do you do? Like, you... Well, what I did for, for Nicole's birthday, is, if I talk about what I did for her birthday, it'd make girls go, ah. Uh -huh. And it'd make guys go, she's corny. <laughs> Well, come what on, is you? Is she a uh, bitch, this guy? <laughs> That's what, it would do. what I did was I did a uh, watch. I, I, I flew out. To, I was out here. I, I put a... Uh, guys, excuse me. Girls looking like I took rose petals and sprinkled them on the bed and had, like, pearls all in the bed and uh, stuff. Uh, See? Now, now wait, you know what wait, 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 wait. The guys are like, what kind of is that? <laughs> some roses up, throw some flowers on the bed. <laughs> now you say pearls in the bed. Now I rolled around with crackers in the bed and that hurts. Ow, ow, man. It, you can't do anything on pearls, it hurts. Well, we took the pearls out of Oh, you bed. took the pearls out. Were they real pearls or just those cheap pop things you get to snap together? I mean, these are real pearls? Hey, no cheap pop things for my gal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. So you put rose petals all over there? Hey, man. Yeah. Did that work? <laughs> yeah, it worked. It yeah. worked. Well, I'd already, you know, we'd already, we'd already done it, so, you know. Oh, I see. <laughs> just, just kind it of... turned up the intensity, I guess. <laughs> Thank you for the flowers! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the pearls and roses! <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome! <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not, see, I didn't hear any of the guys go, oh, I think, I think all the guys thought that was romantic, huh? Yeah. It's more romantic than saran wrap. Wrapped in saran wrap. 
That actually sounds kind of nasty. It is nasty. Because then, then you got to peel it off. Oh, and it it sticks to you and it gets hot. Well, let's take a break. I, you know, I, I want to ask you about the kids and some other stuff when we get back. More with Eddie right after this. Show. Murphy. You know what I never asked you about? I read about this once. Like, you were a big Elvis fan. You had, like, an Elvis room in your house? <laughs> when I was growing up, I had a... I was a big Elvis fan when... When I got a little older, I had a lot of pictures of Elvis. My wife made me, she wants me to take it all down. No, you can't? <laughs> you got to take this Elvis stuff out of this room. That's the way it is. My wife doesn't act like that that much. Whenever you do a yeah, black woman, NS whenever you do a black doing. woman's voice, you do that so people go, oh, okay, you match your sister. <laughs> <laughs> My wife doesn't like all the Elvis pictures. Did you watch the movies? Were you a big Elvis oh, fan? Oh, yeah, remember movie? those uh, Speedway movies? Speedway spin out? Elvis had the perfect hair yeah. and the jacket. The drama. Yeah, man, those are, those are, come on, who didn't like those movies? Well, my favorite thing, my favorite thing I always liked were the scenes where Elvis would, uh, like, he'd be over here, like, as a busboy or something, you know? And it'd be like a drunk. And the drunk would just go, hey, busboy! Hey, busboy, sing a song! He would just yell it out. And Elvis would almost sing the song. You know. And then the busboy would just start singing a song, as if that would happen in any... What, mo would... what movie was this? This was in, uh, was it Frankie and Johnny? Oh, I didn't see that one. Which one have you seen? You've seen Speedway? I've seen Speedway, I've seen Roust About so many times. Roust About, Speedway is the one yes, where... Yes, it's a wonderful day. Remember that song? Yes. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, but that's all in the past. Huh, you're not into <laughs> Elvis anymore? Now I'm a big Hendrix fan. I'm a Hendrix fan. Okay. <laughs> And you were, I mean, Elvis was bad, too, you know, but I wasn't... I'm, I'm putting Hendrix. I got a Hendrix vest and a Hendrix scarf. Yeah, and yeah. Hendrix. I'd be like, Hendrix, what are these drawers? I'd be breaking, breaking all, kind of Hendrix, all kind of Hendrix stuff at the house, man. Well, you were a big Miles Davis fan, weren't you? Very much so. Yeah. I used to open for him. Do you know that? You used to do what? I used to open for him on the road. Really? Yeah, yeah. When he used to play the jazz. Don't look I at me like you think I'm no, lying. I don't look at me like I'm lying. I you met go, Miles really? once. I said, I met Miles at... Well, that, the first time I met Miles was at Saturday Night Live. He came by and I was Miles Davis in the back. And I said, I want to go back and meet him. They went in the back and said, Hey, Miles, uh, Eddie Murphy wanted to meet you. I heard Miles say, Oh, man, I don't want to meet nobody. She said, That was a slap. So you, so you opened for him. Oh, you never got a chance to work with him? Ladies and gentlemen, Jay yeah. Leno. Yeah, I got a chance <laughs> to work with him. He was a very strange man. No, I met one was, time. Well, he, he was eccentric, not strange. Well, eccentric. All right, strange, eccentric. Yeah, strange is kind of negative, kind of. Eccentric is weird but nice. Well, <laughs> I remember he wouldn't go on once. For some reason, he said, he, I finished my show, and he said, I need my yellow jacket. I can't go on. Do some more time. And, you know, I had like, like 21 minutes. So I just went out again, and, and uh, so, uh, what are you doing? You know, says, Where's his jacket? It's at the hotel. And he, he just, stay out there, just stay out there. And I'm just, boo, get up. And, and they never found his jacket, and he never went up. Oh, he did that. Miles probably did that on purpose. Oh, probably, yeah. Send him out there and just tell him. Right. Tell him, Joe, yeah, I went to get my jacket. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> did you hey, know? where's Miles? <laughs> Miles coming back? Oh, is that me? That's very good. <laughs> well, back then, how old were you? I was like 22. Yeah, 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 yeah right. Yeah, yeah. Everybody was. <laughs> Did, did you name one of your kids after him? Am I right? Well, Miles, I like that name. My right. son's with a Y, not an I. Oh. Everybody thinks they're named after me. Oh, no, it's, well, it sounds like I just assumed that. Well, it's the same name, only with a different spelling. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, it's after Miles Davis. Yeah. <laughs> so how old now are the kids? Uh, Miles is a year and a half, and Bria is four. And Shane is still brewing. He's about five, she's about five months. Okay, it's so October or something, still, yeah. She's still, uh... So I imagine... Still, still in the oven there, getting, getting together. Being a guy with the rose petals and the pearls and all that, it's a good... I imagine on the other end, you're also changing the diapers and doing all that stuff. You're very much involved in it. Oh, uh, I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not in all uh, that? Yeah, I don't do a lot of diapers, Jay. No, not, not a big fan? Mm, not a big fan of <laughs> diapers, no. I don't, no. So My what, wife does the diapers, and I do, you know, rose petals and... Oh, I see. And I read books, you know, I read books to my kids. Oh, you read books? Yeah, I read books. Bedtime stories? That's I do good. voices for my kids. And voices? Stuff. What kind of well, voices? Well, you know, when you read the little cartoons, I do all the different voices in the cartoon. And they wind up looking at me instead of the book like, wow, this is, my dad is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? I saw somewhere you're talking about your son, and, and, and you picked him up, and what happened? You know what I'm talking about? No, what? Didn't he just, he, he like went all over you or something? What was that? You know what I'm talking about? Miles? When did... On me? I don't no, remember. I saw you on, was it on Entertainment Tonight? Did my son something? pee on? I, I, Yeah, he, he peed all over you, you said. No, that's probably a fear of mine. A fear? All right. <laughs> Maybe it's just a well, fan. Never, Maybe it's a fan. Yeah, it was probably a fan. fan. Man, yeah, I, yeah. I was probably talking about a critic pissing all over me. Not... <laughs>
<laughs> Not my son, Of mine. course. How foolish of <laughs> me to get it confused. <laughs> Let me ask you about the movie. Now, you look like you're in good shape. Did you lose some weight? Yeah, I had to work out for this picture because I'm jumping all over the place and yeah. shooting guns. And so how much weight did you lose? About... 10, 15 pounds. Oh, that's not too bad. Over a three-year period, though. That oh, that's gradual. Oh, yeah, that's just... <laughs> well, I lost five pounds from uh, the last movie because I had to tighten it up because I didn't want to, you know, be jumping over that and <laughs> had to stop and say, oh, ah! <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> we had to get... So what do you do to work out? Do you have, like, the personal trainer gig? You no, know my dad used to be a professional boxer, so we have... All so the... was mine. Really? My dad what was a weight class? My dad was a lightweight. Really? So yeah, my yeah. dad was lightweight, too. Really? Yeah. I remember my dad just kicked uh, the hell out of your dad. You <laughs> My dad fought under the name the Bronx Flash. Well, if your dad was that tough, then you should be able to bust my ass. <laughs> Normally, I don't like to kick the guests around, but, you know, <laughs> sometimes it is necessary. <laughs> we, should, we should have our two dads come down here and fight. That's how we settle it. <laughs> so tell me about Comp 3. You, you told me you like it better than, than 2, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. much more. Much, it was much more like Beverly Hills Cop 1, where it was, you know, character-driven as opposed to, you know... And I, there are things in Beverly Hills Cop 2 that I like, and people like the movie, but yeah. this movie is more like... Beverly Hills Cop 2 is more like, uh... Action. Uh, no, Beverly Hills Cop 2 is more like, uh... Like, Bev like a, a caricature of Cop 1, and this movie is separate. It's like yeah. its uh, own movie by itself. Now, set up this clip, because this needs some setting up here. Oh, uh, I'm in, uh, an amusement park. Yeah. And I had to, I had to, uh... They've been, they've thrown me out of the park a bunch of times because I'm investigating a crime. So I have to put on one of the costumes. The park is a lot like Disneyland. We have a Wonder World, and instead of Mickey Mouse, we have uh, this elephant called Okie Dokie. So I have to put on this Okie Dokie con uh, costume and infiltrate the park. And one of the kids thinks that I'm really a uh, Okie Dokie, and this is what happens. Let's take a look. <laughs> Beverly Hills I remember. 3. <laughs> It opens this Wednesday, right? Yeah. You gonna stick around and see The Mentalist? I'm gonna stay and watch the whole show and watch John Sakotics. I'm a big fan of his. I'm gonna watch the... <laughs>